All right, guys, we had the Glock 4th Gen 23, 40 cal. We've got the upgrade uh, Glock Store Double Damon Premium Barrel with a tungsten guide rod. Double Diamond uh, three pound trigger. It's hot, ready to shoot. It was about 25 feet, if not further. Try and work on our spread. Maybe not. Bad jam. happy about it, but I'm not. Twenty-eight round mag. We're gonna see if it jams or not. Hopefully, it works again. probably can't hear me, but this is the Glock mag from Cheaper Than Dirt. It's a piece of shit that took a lot of modifications in order to feed rounds like that. Alright, I'm going to work on a mag dump with uh, a reload if I can. We'll see how that goes. Too bad. It's empty. Empty. All right, we're gonna holster it. Walk down there. The gun's pretty hot. Very hot. Uh, all right. Now I can zoom you out. Now. My spread's not too bad at the last part I was aiming up here. I did pretty good. Uh, for shits and giggles, using the front sight, for some reason I stick over in this area uh, when I'm really trying. My group pattern's like this. But still, for the front sight, um, 
I guess the trick is to keep it in a softball size, so about the size of my hand. That's almost acceptable. When I was trying, I stayed up in here, so that's not bad. I'm satisfied with that. Sorry for the wind ahead of time. Gonna try and film myself four by four and I here. It's not even that bad anymore. I thought I videoed uh, using traction board to get out of this. Some digging was involved. We did have to clear the frame and the front hitch. Uh, but without the traction boards, we probably would not have gotten out of here. And that was pretty epic. I gave it a red line all the way out. Like you guys wouldn't believe these ruts. These, these are deep. Like, at least goes down two feet. It's up to my knee. It's about a foot, maybe two feet, 23 inches, 24 inches. That's, that's deep. That's real deep. That's a Dakota for you. Probably should have let it warm up for a minute before I got on it though. 